free will uh, uh, and the whole the whole uh, idea and concept behind it was an idea that grew out of you know thousands of years of thought at a time when there really wasn't any serious knowledge about the mechanistic nature of the human brain and now uh, we know a, a ton. We know how the brain is organized. We know that it comes with structure. We know that it has knowledge in it. We know how uh, we're learning more and more each day, uh, how it makes decisions. In other words, we're learning how the thing works. So if you think about it this way, if you were a Martian coming by Earth and looking at all these humans and then looking at how they work, you wouldn't, it would never dawn on you to say, well, now, this thing needs free will. What are you talking about? Uh, what, you're, what we're knowing is, is we're learning and appreciating the ways in which uh, we produce our perception, our cognition, our consciousness, and all the rest of it. And why do you want uh, something in there that seems to be independent of all that? The essential part of free will that that people want to hold on to is the sense that that therefore makes you responsible for your actions. So there is, it's the idea of personal responsibility. And I think that's very important and I don't think that all this mechanistic work on the brain in any way threatens that. You learn that responsibility is to be understood at the social level, the, the deal, the rules that we work out living together. So the metaphor I like to use you know, is cars and traffic. We can study cars and all their physical relationships and know exactly how they work. It in no way prepares us to understand traffic when they all get together and start interacting. That's another level of organization and description of these elements interacting. So the same is with brains, that we can understand brains uh, to the nth degree, and that's fine and that's what we're doing. Uh, but it's not going to in any way uh, interfere with the fact that taking responsible in a so responsibility in a social network is done at that level. So I, the way I sum it up is that you know brains are automatic but people are free because people uh, are going to be uh, are, are, are joining the, the social group and in that group are laws to live by. And it's interesting every social network uh, whether it's artifactual internet or people, the accountability is essential or the whole thing just falls apart. You, you gotta have it. No one has anything to worry about, I don't think, from science in terms of whatever we discover about our nature uh, and however good we get at describing it, it's not gonna impact that essential value that everybody has to be held accountable because it's at a totally different level and it's, uh, it's in the social level, which is so crucial and important for the human.